Hi guys, so we're here at Cisco Live with UC from Mika How. Hey man, uh, uh, how are you? I'm good. Th thanks for jumping on stage yesterday. I know, I know. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Um, so we're here to talk about you know Eka How um, and more specifically about AX and how does Eka How you know um, supports AX in, 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 in one way. So can you can you talk about it? Uh, oh you mean Wi-Fi six? Yeah Wi-Fi six, exactly. Yes. <laughs> so so absolutely and we get this question a ton. Um, I mean we've talked to hundreds of people already here at Cisco Live and it's only you know you know the second day is just just beginning. Uh, and, and a frequent question is, okay, so uh, what about surveying AX? Do, should, should I, you know, uh, how, how does that work? Yeah, will the Psychic be compatible with AX? E exactly, exactly. It's either I, I made this big investment on Psychic or I'm considering it and, and yeah. I, am I safe with AX coming? And the, and the answer is yes. You are, so, so essentially, uh, when, when you're site surveying, Sidekick is the passive site survey device, right? So, yeah. so it reads, but packets. Yeah, so the psychic cares about the beacon frames, right? And the yeah, beacon man. frames need to be understable by anyone, by any clients, yeah. right? So uh, this is the reason why the psychic will pretty much fix up the, those beacon frames, even though they're AX. And then so in, in, in Eka, how you're supposed to be able to see those, you know, AX SSIDs and AX APs coming up. Exactly. And the software already uh, fully supports AX site surveys. Sidekick yeah. fully supports AX site surveys. So, so you can, you, you know, I've done it already plenty of times where, yeah. where you know, I, I've surveyed AX APs, they show up as AX. And since we are able, like going back to the technical explanation, because we can, from the beacons, we can uh, read, uh, you, you, you know, uh, the AX specific. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Stuff from the information element. The, uh, then the from there on, we we uh, yeah. For, from there on, we populate things like you know the MCSCs and and all that's relevant for uh, AX anyway. And you guys have a new caller for AX in Nikaha, right? The the teal. Oh, is it teal or turquoise? Yeah, it's, don't it's don't ask nice. me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But there there is a new color color for AX AP, so you can clearly. Uh, distinguish those as well and and you can see them like of course after the survey but you can also see them in real-time fre frequency monitor or rtfm uh, as they pop up and so what about uh, uh, predictive like can you do a predictive design using ax ap's a uh, good question uh, francois you absolutely can uh, do a predictive design using ax ap's we have the cisco the newest one even has the 9120 which is barely shipping to customers uh, if you talk about cisco uh, we have the is it nine, 91 one, 911 is it 5 and 7 yes they're yes. both there as well and uh, for for the other vendors i mean aruba 515 i think probably 555 is there as well 535 if they're not, they'll be in the next release. I've seen so, the, uh, the Aero Hive as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah man, it's, so. it's, all, it's all there. So, so uh, it is one thing, uh, in all honesty, so, so one thing for AX that's not there yet is capacity planning for AX clients. And the reason for that is uh, the APs don't support uh, truly, uh, most of the APs don't truly support AX yet. So they don't support OFDMA and stuff like that. And we yeah. need to investigate that and we need to hand measure and look at how it works first yeah. using different brands of APs until we code yeah. uh, the capacity uh, simulation algorithms uh, yeah. in our tools. So we need to understand the real world behavior, for example, of OFDMA. Yeah. But since it doesn't take place these days, you, yeah. you, you know, uh, so in short, these days, you're safe because even the APs don't don't typically support all of the AX functionalities for capacity. I think I think it's going to be a challenge to try to do capacity planning for AX because different APs will implement different features differently. Absolutely, absolutely. Right. But so that's the case in, in, to some extent already today. Like MCS, for example, yeah. uh, you know, fallback of data rates and stuff like that. We just yeah. have to make best guesses, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and and it's I I would say it's. Uh, si similar to for example like we model the environment the best we can it's never going to be absolutely true yeah. uh, the absolute truth and same for example with the uh, ax capacity calculations as well yeah. we, we can uh, and that's why we need to first understand how it works uh, by testing it in the real world and then yeah. mod coding that into algorithms and stuff like that okay but long story short surveys you're good to go for ax 100 percent if you have a sidekick uh, planning, you're good to go 100%. And once AX uh, OFDMA starts hitting the market, then we'll have it also in the tool. So 100% go for AX. What about Wi-Fi 7? 
Yes, that's also so. Oh, <laughs> okay. wait, no, it's not. <laughs> I do appreciate the question, though. <laughs> well, well, can, your can job you is to think about the future, right? That's true. Uh, can you first tell me what is Wi-Fi 7? And <laughs> is that the same as 5G? Uh, this no. 5G thing I keep hearing about? Uh, no, no, okay. it's, no, it's totally different. Oh, it is? We don't know about it yet. So. Okay, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Ekaho is Wi-Fi 6 proof. Yes, sir. That's good to hear. That's long story short. We could have done this in ten seconds. Yeah. Instead, we spent like ten minutes babbling. <laughs> Let's do it again, Roman. <laughs> Thank you, Yusi. Thank Thanks you. a lot, Francois. Thanks, Roel. Thanks, Gurbert, for pressing the stop button. <laughs>